quỷ lại gian What is up, YouTube? We have Schumer releasing us Schumer Pi 2.0. Now with Nintendo and SNES game hacks, he added Daphne, some more MS-DOS games. The image just gets getting bigger and bigger and better and better. He's got a Discord channel, and so all these little additions, more Dreamcast games. A really cool addition to this one is that it now has Duck Station installed. So all 331 games you can play with Duck Station. You might be wondering, well, what does Duck Station do? Well, it's another emulator for PlayStation. And there's some cool hacks. I did play with it in this video. And what I was able to do was, unfortunately, I couldn't up the resolution. That's one of the biggest perks to that emulator. You're not gonna be able to upscale with the Raspberry Pi limitations, but there are some like hacks and some uh, graphical changes you could do. Uh, like for example, smoothing out the polygrams to make you know PlayStation a little less boxy looking. And to me, that's pretty cool. Speaking of looking, you know, there's a lot of little things done on this, everything from the different themes installed, the different collections. Um, this is a best of the best image. This isn't like all the games for every system. You know, for example, Sega Genesis had over a thousand games and he just chose kind of the best of the best games. And for me, it has everything I want as far as what I'm gonna play, but I understand that everyone has different flavors and things like that. This is coming in at 360 gigabytes, so you really do need a 500 or a 512 gigabyte SSD or micro SD card for this to work. Um, there's a couple of little things that you know you might wanna know, little fixes and things. We're gonna to wanna to check out Duck Station, and we're gonna to wanna to check out what, what's on this image, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So as far as all games, this is rocking 6,814 different games, which is quite a large collection. You might be thinking that's not that many. There's obviously been, there's a Cody pre-installed Playbox edition. Um, you might be thinking that um, that's not a lot but um, it, it is considering a lot of those are CD-based games. Um, send in light gun support, nice to have that pre-installed for people. That's kind of the theme of this image that I've given it such great reviews in the past, kind of similar to Virtual Man's images and Rick Dangerous's images. Um, it is on a two-play base image. Some people like that, some people don't. Uh, if you see, it does have a track mode, by the way, it has HyperPie installed, but it's not really set up, so uh, I, you know, you really, you're getting into a whole box of worms there that we're not gonna be getting into in this video, but it is there if you want to set it up and play with it. It's really cool in my opinion. I just, I prefer HyperPi on PC myself. I just think that the Pi 4 is, uh, it's not quite ready for. But, um, you know, to each their own. Now, uh, the Playbox Toolkit, what I like about it, look at all that stuff. Mm, just click of a button, you can do any of those little fixes there, apps and tweaks. You can uh, mess with the Vulcan drivers, Pi Kiss. Uh, none of that I would really mess with. The big thing with this image that I would probably be playing with is, um, you know, those that uh, Duck Station is now installed. Speaking of this image, um, this RetroPie background music player is not pre-installed. For some reason, it's not showing up on the menu. He shows you how to fix that on backups.me where you can find this image. It's a quick fix, but uh, you do have to get on the network or transfer it over USB. Um, also, another thing you should know is um, it doesn't have the um, the startup menu pre-installed or the, the the startup run command this one right here 831 so if you want to redo that it, it, it's going to be disabled like this when you first launch this image if you want to enable it i enabled it because what that allows me to do then is change when i'm playing my playstation games i can change my default emulator from the ps pcx uh, rearmed to the duck station. So that's why mine's set up this way. Also, it does not come pre overclocked. I went ahead and overclocked mine over here at uh, System Tools, overclock. Ooh, I went back, I went over. Uh, system Tools, overclock Pi 4. I'm running on 2 gigahertz. Um, I have a pretty decent fan case running on this, so uh, it's not going to cause me any issues. Now, as I go through these games, let's talk a little bit more about this image, what I like, what I don't like. Um, it does come pre-installed with a ton of synthwave games and things like that. Over 1,200 arcade games here. Huge arcade set. You can always hit select, jump to the arcade you're looking for, the arcade game you're looking for, and uh, it'll, you know, easier way to navigate. Um, but you'll see later there's collections as well on this image, which um, allow you to um, find like platformers or adventure games, or if you're just looking for Mortal Kombat-based games, it's easy to find. 
um, as we go out. You'll see a little mistake here, and the Mika artwork is not showing up. I'm not sure if that just doesn't, in, in, it's not included on this theme. Um, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm not completely sure, but a uh, huge Amiga collection here if you're into Amiga. Again, this is a this is a best of the best image, so like Atari 2600. It's only 47 games, but there's a lot of Atari games, uh, you know, out there. It's, he just didn't drop them all. Daphne, I know a lot of people are asking about Daphne, um, and so here you go. It has the Daphne collection on there. MS Docs, it's actually about a dozen MS Docs. MS DOS games, TurboGrafx 16, 94, 1064. We'll look at what's on there. I like that he included Mario Story and Monopoly, a games that you don't see. Uh, whoop, I went to the left here. Uh, Mario Story and Monopoly. You don't always see these on all the images. And of course, you got the Zelda and things like that. The overclock is definitely going to help with Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, Thomas Way, Naomi Performance. So I do recommend you do that if that's something you're interested in doing or playing. Uh, make sure you have a good case, though. Nintendo. 338 games again over a thousand games for nintendo but he just put he didn't want to waste all that extra space and a lot of those games you'll never play um, but again it depends on the person i mean while we're on the on the on the topic of you know what game should you include what game should you not well he did start adding all these nes hacks which are kind of cool but as you'll notice it doesn't have atari 800 doesn't have atari 2700 you know there's a lot of systems that aren't on here especially the older ones a lot of this image is kind of more catered towards the newer CD-based games, PlayStation, Dreamcast, Naomi, Thomas Wave, Neo Geo, large arcade set. Um, as far as the games here, like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, only 77, 375. Um, do note that a lot of these games are going to be stretched out. He uses the full widescreen. That's just the way he prefers it. But as he mentions in his notes, you could easily just hit select and X on your controller, go to the RetroArch menu there, and change out your display modes very easily um game and watch 50 super nintendo 500 uh super nintendo hacks just a couple super metroid ones uh he did say he's kind of building on this all the time open beats of rage is new with this latest version um the biggest collection he's released yet so if you're into those little side scrollers um you know those are fun a thomas wave in my opinion you really have to overclock for these particular games but they do run and they will run unoverclocked as well just not as well Scum VM 57, big Scum VM collection, Dreamcast 105. You probably want to see what's in there. While we're in there, um, I do like that it doesn't come pre overclocked uh, because, especially for somebody who's new, you know, that's, uh, you know, easier to, to, it's easier for somebody who knows what they're doing, which, you know, somebody, you know, should only be overclocking if you know what you're doing. Uh, I moved over to Game Gear there, uh, 275, Sega Genesis 582, Master System 259, 32X, there's uh, 35, if you're wondering what 32, it's pretty much all of them. Sega CD, though, a little bit more uh, selective on what was included. Uh, Naomi, 27 games, you might want to see what's on there. Uh, Neo Geo 140, pretty large Neo Geo set, Neo Geo CD, and there are some duplicates between Neo Geo CD and Neo Geo, but you know, you might like the different versions of the different games. Neo Geo Pocket 40, Solaris, these are some uh, RPG games, as you see, you have those there, and then PlayStation 331. Um, with the PlayStation collections, I'll go ahead and scroll through these really quick. Um, here you go. We'll talk a little bit about this image as we go. So as far as Duck Station, I'll include the footage of uh, Crash Bandicoot with the smooth, uh, the smooth uh, p uh, polygrams. Now I did try uh, going 2x. 3x is 720p. Couldn't handle 3x. 2x it still lagged. Like it was just like like the loading screen just wouldn't even go. So. I, you know, I, I wouldn't call it a, a fail. I would just say, you know, early days, early days. And, and someone's going to find out what the best, like, which hacks to turn on and which hacks to turn off. Um, there's a lot of, like, little uh, little fixes you could do within that emulator that aren't on rearmed, at least yet. Um, so if you like PlayStation, you know, this is a pretty cool image, especially that it has a lot of the stuff pre-installed. Um, but right out of the box, it's going to run great with the PCX rearmed just fine. All right, so uh, PSP, some cool games included on here like Cars, Grip Shift, a lot of good racing games and things. So nice little collection there. PSP Mini is just uh, Pac-Man, I think. Yep. And then here's all those collections. 
And uh, you can turn these off very easily. Hit start on your controller. Go over to uh, collections. And uh, you can, un there's 63 right now. That's a lot. You can turn those off. Just uncheck them here. Just click the checkboxy. Um, other thing, the uh, lot of themes installed. Do know that like some of these two play themes don't work well because they don't have all the collection artwork. Um, but if you turn off the collections, they work great. Like you're not going to have any missing artwork or anything. I like this one. The, the default theme we're on right now is, is just, just fine. Um, so there you have it. There's the image. Um, let's go ahead and jump into a game here. Oh, the light gun collection is really cool. Like I said, the sin and light gun drivers are pre-installed and, uh, you know, so same with the, uh, the aim track light gun, both good light guns. Oh, I've skipped over here. How do we go? Let's go back out and then we'll go back over to light guns. Um, you know, and, and to get these things started, like NES, you just got to turn on your zapper within retro arch. Uh, PlayStation, you just got to turn on your gun con within RetroArch, um, you know, after the gun is, is configured for the Pi. So there's my file, RetroPi BGM player right there. So now it's in there. So here's my duck station messing around. And uh, as you see, it's barely loading right here um, because I have it upscaled. I just want to see if the Pi can handle upscaling of any kind. And it can't. It can't even do 2x. 3x is 720. Like 4 or 5x is 1080p. There, that's the resolution there. So I just change it back to 1x. It just would not load. Now, the multi-sample anti-aliasing does work. You can really play around with that and see a difference. That's the one I would play around with. I didn't play around with any of these other ones. I know you could change the 24-bit or 8-bit display, and maybe you can get it to look uh, better for, for the way you're looking to play PlayStation. Um, so for anybody who likes to kind of tweak, um, this could be great, especially if you're a big PlayStation fan. I mean, it really does put a new spin on the system. Like I said, it's like Redream, you know, playing those uh, Dreamcast games in HD. It's really cool because a lot of those games, you know, when you kind of smooth out the pixels a little better, it, it makes the world of difference um, as far as looks. Um, and it could be a lot, a lot of fun. So I recommend playing around with this. Um, as far as how do you get here, um, you have to change that run command I showed you earlier in the video to an options in the main RetroPie uh, menu to turn on run command and then change your default emulator from the PC rearm, PS, PCX rearmed to duck station. Another way to do it is just load a PlayStation game, press select and Y while you're in the game to go to your uh, your uh, retro arch menu go ahead and close out the content go to uh, load core and load the duck station core from there and then just load a rom and play with the options like i'm doing here and it'll just automatically reboot now here is the footage of a um with that multi-aliasing on um there's a little bit of glitch there on my graphic that was just my capture card but as you see it's running at full frames here and it's a little bit smoother you know don't have as many ragged edges like I said, it's not going to be a night and day um, difference like you would see when you upscale the uh, res. But like I said, it, it's promising, and I think that some people might enjoy playing with it for this image. Well, my final thoughts are, you know, like I said, Ooh. you know, lately the Can't there's so, so many great images out there. Oh, um, this is kind of with Rick Danger's kind of the best of the best between Shumi and Rick. Like to them, to me, those two images are very similar. Um, you know, look, my my only beefs with this image were that uh i wish the uh you know just go 512 at this point right like leave maybe 12 gigabytes of free free space but like i said some people might like that you know that it's only a 360 gigabyte download but if you're trying to fit it on a 400 gigabyte sd card or ssd good luck on that i you know i'm sorry it's already pie shrunk you know, you're gonna have to just make the jump there. And then the little thing with the background music, it's totally fully loaded with like synth wave and all kinds of music. It's got a really cool, you know, closing screen, intro screen. Love the uh, videos to get started to put you in the games. So graphically and, and user wise, it's it's a really well made image from, from start to, to end. Um, you know, missing artwork there, missing the background music script. Um, you know, uh, other than that, you know, I, I think it's I think it's good. I think the changes I saw were welcomed. I could see why he did them. Uh, you know, like not overclocking to start, uh, disabling the, the launch run command. Um, you know, it, that way people don't break it. So with all that said, that, you know, that's kind of my thing. I, I gave this image an A before. Why not give it an A again? It's just getting better and better. 
Um, I understand like people don't like re-downloading things, uh, but you know, anytime somebody builds an image and they're just constantly working on it, and they have an active Discord to kind of help troubleshoot it, you know, yeah, and they, you know, they're not. This isn't their job. This is their hobby. Uh, you know, I, I gotta, I'm down with that. So good work, love it. Thank you, thank you to everyone who supports. You know, gives feedback. Uh, you know, the RetroPie people, the develop, the devs, the emulator devs, uh, all those people. Shout out, good stuff. That's what I think. Let me know y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.